Welcome back, everybody. So if you are um, wondering, I just finished uh, week 18 with the 770Gs video just a couple minutes ago, and I thought of this would or thought of a topic that would be really good for a video for the YouTube platform. So I'm going to kind of talk about it. So I see a question a lot um, about what are the benefits of the uh, 770G when I already have a 670G and why would I want to get a 770G when the 780G is going to be released sometime within the next year once it receives FDA approval. So in this video we're going to talk about why you should consider the 770G and the benefits it could have for you. So let's get started. All right, so let me give you a little background information. I was on the 670G for a little over two years. Um, I was really excited. I had been on the Medtronic 530G, an inline sensor before that, and now I had um, a good health insurance that was gonna constantly pay for my sensors with my current employer, and I was really excited to get the new insulin pump and the Guardian sensors and start that process and see how that pump would benefit me personally with auto mode. So I got the pump, and as most people I've kind of seen on the internet, it's a love-hate relationship. Auto mode is stressful, and the pump constantly alarmed, and you couldn't get a good night's sleep, and it was just always something going on that made that 670G extremely frustrating. Well, fast forward to 2020, I heard that the 770G insulin pump was coming out and it was going to connect our pump to our smartphone um, if it is supported by Medtronic. And um, I got really excited because that's one of the things I really wanted to do was be able to interact or see my pump data on my phone, typically because the screen's a little bigger and you get a little bit more real estate. Plus, you would be able to get the pump alerts on a mobile device. So, I got the 770G in December, and that's kind of when this YouTube channel started. Um, I documented the process. If you've been following along, you'll know that I have a totally different viewpoint on the 770G versus my 670G. I was extremely frustrated and did not happy with my 670G, and the 770G is a total game changer. Medtronic states that they did not change anything with the algorithm on the pump, that the 770G simply provides Bluetooth connectability for the user to monitor their glucose and information and get alerts on their smartphone. A helpful tidbit of that um, connectivity is that the pump with your phone um, will always upload your data to CareLink. Mine updates every 24 hours. I'm not sure if it will update on a cellular connection if you didn't have Wi-Fi, but mine typically updates every night when I'm at home connected to Wi-Fi. So that means there's no more me trying to get to the computer, make sure that my recent computer update has stopped CareLink's uploader from working or any of those other hassles. Everything's done automatically for me and I don't have to worry about it anymore. In the app, you can manually upload your data and that will use a cellular connection. If, for example, you're on your way to your doctor's office and you want your most current information shared with them, you can click upload, drive to the doctor's office, and when you get there, it's most likely going to be done. So that is a huge benefit for me and others as pump users. But the next thing is actually kind of a safety net for us pumpers. So that information constantly being uploaded also goes to CareLink. So that allows you to have a caregiver app. And this caregiver app allows somebody who's close to you, it could be your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your spouse, um, a family member, anybody who wants to follow along with your daily routine, the biggest thing is for parents. It allows the parents to constantly be able to monitor their children. So it kind of works the way that the CareLink connects with your doctor's office and your doctor can view your reports, except 
it's now a caregiver. So they're able to log in with their app and it'll stay continuously running in the background, the same as the pump user, but they'll also get all of your alerts. And theirs has an additional safety net, I believe, I haven't really used it much, but if your pump alarm is not resolved in X number of minutes, then they're gonna start getting text messages of your alert to try to check on you and make sure that everything is gonna be okay. So that's one of the things that I really enjoy. I do have two caregivers set up to monitor my data. Um, they have it just for backup. I typically don't have any issues, but it is there for them to look at and you know, kind of how I've been playing with that app to see how things operate. So that's the biggest thing um, is that Bluetooth connectability. Also, I'm not getting nowhere near as many alarms as I would. I haven't seen the alarm for maximum insulin delivery or minimum insulin delivery too much. Um, I am getting a significantly less amount of alarms. The alarms that I do get are alarms that are of importance. For example, I just got one for a low battery. Just let me know that my battery is low and I'm gonna need to change it soon. I get low, I get the low and the high alert alarms that I want to receive and um, it's pretty much all the alerts I'm getting are because I set them up. If I wanted to get less alerts, I could raise those values to set the low value extremely low, excuse me, or the high value extremely high, and I wouldn't get as many alerts, but they're at values that I want so that way I can stay on top of maintaining my sugar. So I'm okay and comfortable with those. So here's the whole moral of this video, and I hope you made it to this point. Medtronic, when you do the upgrade program to the 770G, it does not reset your warranty period. The upgrade from a 670G to the 770G is a is like a deal between you and Medtronic. Your insurance is not involved. All of the pump supplies from the 670G work over on the 770G. The only thing that is different is the pump itself and the Guardian Link 3 transmitter. Those are the only two differences. So if you go to Medtronic's website and you click insulin pumps and diabetes management, you get down on there somewhere, there is a section that talks about upgrading to the 770G. They have three different options. Three options are called the Next Tech Pathway, the Lift Ticket, and the Pathway. Over the past few weeks or months, Medtronic has slimmed it down to make these kind of easier for everybody. Um, I know when the 770G first came out, it was kind of a confusion because everybody was being told something different. So um, here's the basics. You're going to have to pay one of those or one of the fees. Um, the Next Tech Pathway has a $0 upgrade fee. Um, Lift Ticket has a three ninety or excuse me a ninety nine dollar upgrade fee, and then the Pathway Program has a three ninety nine upgrade fee. Those fees are when you send your current six seventy G back to Medtronic. And I know you guys are con are thinking, well, I my insurance paid for the six seventy G. Why am I sending that to Medtronic? You are doing like an exchange program. You pay the upgrade fee, which is a partial amount compared to the 8,000 US dollars that the insulin pumps go for outside of insurance typically or your insurance is billed for. Um, so you're paying uh, just a couple hundred dollar fee. You're sending the old device to Medtronic and they're sending you a new device. That does not, since it's a, an agreement between you and Medtronic, that does not reset your warranty period. So for me example, I have a 770G that currently has a warranty period of about a year and a half, I believe, is what I have left from my 670G's warranty period that I'm now currently using on my 770G. So what does that mean? It kind of gives users a really good area um, that they can test something out, and I'm about to cover that. So me, for example, I am really happy with my 770G. I wasn't happy with the 670G. So for a customer who has a year or two years left with the 670G and they're not happy and they're thinking about switching to a different insulin pump, Omnipod, T-Slim, um, if there are any more, I'm not 100% sure, 
But I know Omnipod and T-Slim are the two main pump manufacturers people go to outside of Medtronic because they can get the Dexcom and then both of those pump systems kind of have a working relationship with Dexcom to get your CGM information. So if you're one of these people who are not happy with the 670G and you're thinking about going to a new pump, take the time to call Medtronic and see which one of these upgrade options you have. If you're comfortable paying the fee to upgrade, upgrade to the 770G because in that time that you have left in your warranty, you could be using the 770G and it could be a total game changer for you like it was for me. Then at the end of your warranty, if you're still not happy, you can just switch to a different pump manufacturer. It's not that big of a deal because that agreement was between you and Medtronic and not you, your insurance and Medtronic. So at the end of that warranty period, your insurance company is going to want to renew your warranty. So if you do decide to continue using a Medtronic pump, the 770G or the 780G could be available by then then your insurance will just purchase a new pump from Medtronic. Medtronic will send you a new one and you'll have a new warranty period for four years. Okay, so now let's talk about the benefits of the 770G a little more. We talked about the Bluetooth connectivity earlier and how all those benefits, but the pump itself, why, is, why do you want to do that? The 780G and a couple other future pump upgrades, I'm not sure how many you'll be able to do with the 770G, um, are all available via software updates. So Medtronic will be able to send out an email link to their users on the 770G and it'll walk you through the steps to download the software onto your mobile device and then upload that new software to your pump. So the 780G will then turn your turn into your 770G or your 770G will upgrade itself to a 780G like your iPhone or your Samsung or whatever mobile device you use does every year when they get that new operating system. So that's going to be the step. For those of you um, who are outside of the U.S. and you don't know what the 770G is, you're most likely using the 780G or it's close to being launched in your country. Um, so I just got to tell you guys, you, I'm sorry, this video is not really for you. But for those of us who are in the U.S. and other countries that have the 770G, this is a good benefit for everybody because everybody who has the 770G will get the 780G upgrade rather quickly. There's no back orders on pump supplies or pumps themselves, trying to get all that organized and shipped out. It's a simple, here's an email, here's the link, you guys can kind of work on downloading the software yourself. So me personally, I think the upgrade is extremely worth it, especially if you're feeling frustrated with a 670G and thinking about switching, but you have a, a long period of time, greater than a year left with your Medtronic warranty. Don't suffer with that 670G. Switch over to the 770G and see if your frustrations stop. Trust me, me personally, and I have interacted with several other users of the 770G who are loving it. Um, that's the only thing that I can tell you guys. It's a kind of a loophole where you can try the latest technology without being locked in for four more years, and I'm trying to just share that with you guys. So if you have any questions, shoot me a comment or shoot me a private message on my Facebook page, Justin the Diabetic. And if you found this video helpful, give me a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time.